things that no human being in an ordinary state of consciousness could possibly know. And even though I was a lawyer, and even though I'm a skeptic, I had to be convinced because what's real is real, what I could see, I could see. And then he told me about my bath. And he told me about all the treatments I'd had and how they hadn't worked. And then he reached out his hand and he said, oh, he said, he said, in the name of Christ, you're healed, and my pain was gone. And now, a year and a half later, it's still gone, and I praise God for that. the mysterious force called healing. Western science and medicine have traditionally looked for the answer in the laboratory. Startling and sophisticated methods of healing predating the beginning of science by thousands of years have generally been ignored or ridiculed. The scientific method demands controlled experimental conditions and results which can be measured and duplicated for verification. But today, we may be on the threshold of balancing the scientific side of our nature with its non-rational counterpart. The vast world of human knowledge and belief ranging from orthodox religion to the occult.